for example, they say, you know what? I don't like the process file. I'm sorry, but can you do it again? And you're like, hey, no problem. Sure, I can do that. But you just go back to your raw file because you haven't done anything to it, no processing. So you just re-edit it, but you don't have to voice it again. Hey, what's happening? Welcome back to Speak Easy. If this is the first time we're meeting, my name is Anna, and this channel is all about helping you, the new and aspiring voiceover talent, to get your career off the ground by just sharing uh, some tips and tricks that I learned from the trade for over 15 years now. Today, we're going to do something different. We're going to call it Speak Easy Live from the comments section because I'm recording it live as I go through the comments section and answer them. So let's get started. This is from UEJTube7692. And he says, Hi, Anna. Thanks very much. I'm finding your videos very clear. Thank you and useful. Thank you. I have just gotten myself some good equipment. So he got himself a Rode NT1A mic and a Focusrite Scarlett headphones and a solo interface. And I have a Fiverr account. Very good. And Audacity installed. Well done. But he says, I'm just learning, so I'm not ready to create my first gig yet. Can you please tell us how we should title the audio file and what tags to use in the metadata box? And also, what does it mean to provide split files? Thank you very much from sunny Scotland. Hello, Scotland, where it's 22, cel 22 degrees Celsius and it is considered hot. Seriously, that's like my AC right now. Okay, but hello from Manila to Scotland. Okay, so let's answer your first question. Please tell us how we should title the audio file. Okay, so my process is when I record, for example, I'm given three lines, okay? The script has three lines. Those three lines I will give my aim is to present three good takes okay so i will i will probably voice it more than three so maybe five times i will voice it per line and then um so when i first save that file i will save it for example the title is speak easy okay so it will be speak easy raw like raw material so i don't do anything to that file i don't take out my mistakes. I don't choose uh, my favorite three takes. I don't do any of the processing. I just save it as is. Okay, so I take that raw file and then I save it as speak easy raw. And then I go through it again to edit it. So out of the five or out of the seven, I choose my best three takes. Okay. So I take away the rest and then I take away my, my mistakes. And if the client asks me to uh, do some processing, so I do it with this second file. And then I I name that file, for example, speak easy final. So that is the file that I will send to the client. So Maybe you're asking me, Anna, will you erase the raw file? No, I won't. Okay, so why? For example, my client gets back to me and says, hey, you know what? I didn't like any of the three files that you sent. Maybe you can do it again and be a little slower or put a little more drama or maybe um, be a little more happy. And say, for example, in my raw file, I actually have those things that they wanted so I can just send those as opposed to re-recording everything else. So, you know, work smarter, not harder, right? So that's why I do not erase the raw file. Or for example, they say, you know what? I don't like the process file. I'm sorry, but can you do it again? And you're like, hey, no problem. Sure, I can do that. But you just go back to your raw file because you haven't done anything to it, no processing. So you just re-edit it, but you don't have to voice it again. 
right? You're learning something from this, right? So don't erase your raw material. Okay, so next question from, let's just call him EJ, okay? From EJ is, meta is what tags to use in the metadata box? I'm thinking you are pertaining to this box right here. If you are, well, just ignore that box. I don't do anything to it really. I just, you know, type in the file name that I want and save it. So pay no attention to that metadata box or the tags that you need to do because I never do and it doesn't do anything to my file. Okay, EJ. So the last question is, what does it mean to provide split files? So EJ, you're talking about your additional services on Fiverr, right? Because you can offer your client split files and you can charge them for that. So what does that mean? For example, your client has a long, long script. Okay. So what you would normally do is just record that, edit out the mistakes and send the whole file to them. Right. But for example, the script is actually broken into five segments or five categories. You can actually offer it to them or maybe they will ask you. So for example, you will offer it to them. Hey, you know what? I've noticed that your script has five segments into them. Maybe you want me to split up the file into five different files and give them different file names if they don't have their own file names. So you can offer that to them and you can charge for it. So instead of uh, sending in one long file, you'll send them uh, five different files for each category, if that makes sense. So that's what it means to provide split files. Okay, so keep that in mind and always try to offer, um, you know, extra additional services to your clients so that your basic rate will go a little bit higher. All right, so I think I covered all of uh, the questions for today's episode of Speakeasy Live from the comments section. If this was a question that you had in mind as well, I have given you the answer. So I really love this uh, new segment that I have because really your questions make my life easier. So if you have any question that you have in mind, as long as it has anything to do with voiceover, please do write it down at the comments section so I can go through them and maybe I'll tackle it in the next episode of Speak Easy live from the comments section, okay? So with that, I wish you all a fantastic day and I'll see you in my next video. Cheers.